Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome to another episode, episode number 19 of our Bradford City Youth Academy All-Star Series. And in this episode, I am going to start off with some bad news. Um, for some reason, my uh, Elgato did not want to record, it recorded it, but it did not show our two games that I played in an episode that was supposed to be this episode, and I was I had a squad report too. So we won the first game in the episode 1-0 and lost to Southend United 2-0 in the next game, a really bad game, which I'm kind of happy I don't have to show you guys, but... I wish I had those games for you. So in this episode, we will be getting through four games, maybe five if one, if one or two are boring. And then next episode, I will be showing you that uh, squad report that I was going to show you in this episode. And now getting in to the first game of the episode against Dagenham and Redbridge. We are playing probably one of our strongest teams we can except for, I think, center mid, we have Verratti there, which is a left winger, but we are going to play there because he wants a couple more games, and now getting into this game, um, as you can see, Archie feeling good, been 10 minutes in, Dagenham coming at us, and gets a cross off, but Keat is there to block uh, their shot, and gets it out, passes it up to Rugani, Rugani to Archie, Archie beats his man on the left-hand side, tries to go through them, splits, up, tries to split them, but beats his guy wide, Gets uh, has the strength to keep him off, but can't find the shot in the back of the net and puts it right at the goalie. And then Kone wins the header from their cross. They get it back into the box, pass it around a couple times, shoot, and get it into that near post, off the post, and put us 1-0 down in the 18th minute. And then coming into almost halftime, Rufair on the ball, beats a couple of people, gets the balls taken away, but Ratti with the shot, but it's right at the keeper. Keeper makes an easy save there. Now 60 minutes in, they beat our player, play a good through ball to their guy, and put it off the post. Thank God that was not a goal. We would be 2-0 down, and there would be no hope left probably. And now Archie trying to win the ball back, does win the ball back, has the strength to keep them that guy off. Keeps the pace going down that left-hand side. Beats his man and shoots, but it's right at the keeper. And then we try to get it, and Rugani has a shot, but can't put it on target. And now a couple minutes later, Rufer on the ball. Cuts back, beats his man out wide. Plays the ball in, and Archie is there, but their player gets in the way perfectly. And then again, from a free kick, Archie wins the ball from an awful free kick from their guy. Cuts inside and puts it almost away but Rugani finishes it Rugani put it uh, in the middle of the keeper puts it uh, right across the goal and then Rugani is there look at this again Archie tries the shot goes makes a keeper and Rugani is there gets taken out while he shoots but who cares the goal's a goal look at that his left leg just gets taken out but he maintains to uh, score the goal and look at that what a goal by Rugani his first of the season and that's how the game would end. We would tie that game 1-0, or 1-1, 1-0. And then we do go ahead and sim this game so we can get five games in this episode. And we are against Plymouth at home, so I thought it was a good time to sim. And he, they are in like seventh place, so we should be able to get hopefully a win in this game. So far, 25 minutes and nothing happening, but Archie does get the goal in the 27th minute. Archie doing it in uh, simulated games as well as in when we play. Now 60 minutes in, nothing happening. They get a goal. Smalley gets a goal from them. Hopefully we can get a second. 83 minutes in, nothing happening. 87, 88th minute, Archie gets a goal and finds the winner. Heck yeah, Archie gets his second goal of the game to put us up 2-1 in that game. And now coming into the third game of the episode, playing a much rotated team because I kind of want to get I want to get everybody a chance to play in this league, get used to them, see how they do. And a couple players I can tell you in this game did not play very good. But 12 minutes in, Wassam has a good shot on goal, but the keeper does save it. And then from the corner, 15 minutes in, Warren heads the ball in the back of the net. The keeper was in no man's land, and Warren just puts it easy into the back of the net where the keeper should have been. But he kind of just came up for it and did not win the ball. So now 30 minutes in. Done on the ball for uh, Portsmouth. Plays it into Taylor. 
Taylor plays it over to Holmes, and where is our left back gone? But thankfully, they miss uh, wide and hit the uh, side netting. And then they have a wonderful cross right there to put it in, but that guy just could not score. And that is the most orange hair I have ever seen, ever. And then Archie gets the ball in the 86th minute, plays it to Wassam. Wassam, not the paciest player, getting uh, found out, but puts it in the back of the net anyways with his right foot past the keeper, finesse shot with his right there, and makes it 2-0 to put us in the lead and hopefully secure the win. As you can see, everyone is so excited because we would go ahead and win this game, and Wallace can't do anything about it. And here is the goal again. As you can see, he just takes his time and just finesses it with his right foot in the back of the net. And coming into the end of the game, Archie gets on the ball from a headed down from their player, beats their people out wide, and... Cuts back inside, shoots with his right foot, with his weaker right foot, and puts it in the back of the net. 3-0, just like that. Puts it right past the keeper. Don't know what the keeper was doing there. Let's see the replay of this. Beats his guy with the fake shot, then puts it in the keeper. What is he doing there? They got to fix keepers in this game or something. But coming into the next game, we do put Oyal in the net um, because... He was, I think he was in the last game, and he did not concede a goal. I'm not sure if he was in the last. I'm pretty sure he was in the last game. But now coming into the 23rd minute, Brentford with a good opportunity to shoot, but Oyal is there. The backup keeper is there to make a great save. And then coming into halftime, Bizot gets on the ball, plays it in to Archie, a good through ball to see his player through. And he does shoot and puts it in the back of the net. Could have went sweaty there, but decided to leave it to Archie. And Archie puts it past the keeper near post and puts us into the lead. As you can see, Rugani was calling for it, but I, wasn't, I, I didn't feel the sweat there. So Archie just put it in, and that is his 10th goal of the season so far. Good track to get close to how much Brush had last year. And then coming in af right after halftime, Brentford have a good up, good spell on the ball, passing it into our box and just keeping it. Shoots, and Oyol is there, and then Kone heads it off the line. But Brentford still have it, headed it down, and Oyol saves it. Saves it again with his legs, and then saves it to go make it go out wide. Oyol is doing it all in this game, and now Archie has the strength to put that man off. Passes a good ball in there, and Rugani has a chance, but hits the post. Rugani could not find the back of the net with that shot. And then Brentford come back in the 71st minute. And Molina with a great tackle there to keep us into the game. And then another opportunity, but they do hit the post. But it was offside, so it wouldn't have mattered even if they scored. And that is how the game would end. Oyal again with the clean sheet. So we do put him into this game because you can't take someone out that that's hot. Like Svensson is going to have to take a break so Oyal can do his thing until he concedes. So coming into this game against Walsall, uh, away from home, they have a shot, but Oyol is there again to make the save. Now 15 minutes in, they do pass a good through ball from them to play Bradshaw in, and Oyol, thankfully, it just went uh, above the goal. Oyol couldn't do anything about that one, but then again, Oyol with a great save there. It was offsides, but still he did not know that. A good save by Oyol to keep us level in this game and now only two minutes later we are absolutely awful defensively Oyol makes another great save and then they headed over the bar Oyol just doing it all because we, we could not get anything and look at that unluckiness Oyol makes another save what a keeper look at that seven shots five on target 60 percent possession for them we were getting dominated in this game we had four shots two on target and then coming in right after halftime have they have another good spell on the ball have a shot but Oyal is there to save it and we do clear that one now 60 minutes in they have a cross or about to have a cross maybe their guy is just doing our guy out wide and then pl passes it to his near guy they are just killing us look at that possession and then we but we do head that one out Four gets on the ball for them. Kinsella, now they're just passing around our box. We can't do anything. They're Barcelona right now. We can't do anything. But then Bizot gets the header out. They they keep the pressure on by heading it back in. Um, they keep the ball. Look at this. Look at this play. And then they shoot. And that was so close to going in. Oh, my gosh. And now 65 minutes in. Uh, Molina tries to get on the ball. They have a shot. But Oyol tries to keep it out. 
and then Warren spills it into our no net. And that's how Oyol is going to lose his clean sheet by a stupid own goal. Oh, uh, he was having such a good game, and then he just lets it go through his legs, saves it, but then they get their guy's there. And then Archie's just like, I've had it. I'm just going to score real quick. <laughs> I can't. Like, we're, we're getting so dominated right now, so I was just like, let's just go with Archie. And Archie, he does what he wants. He scores 72nd minute to put us 1-1 and gives us the tie. And that is how the episode will end. We are in third place, one point behind the leaders, uh, Sheffield United and Crew Alexandra. And until next time, I will see you guys later.